In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five interactive options slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created five options or five steps. Step one, you can add the title here and the detailed text, and then I've given some shadow effect and some reflection effect. And how this slide works, you can see here when I bring my mouse here, it changes the cursor changes to this hand icon you can see here. And when I click, this will reveal the icon or any text which we want to reveal it. So when I click, this will go up. You can see here, then the icon reveals here. Now, if I want to reveal the step three, then I'm going to click on the step three like this. Now I want to reveal step two, step four and step five. So this way you can do it. And I have created one more slide where this is not interactive when I click it will reveal the step one and then step two step three step four and step five something like this so depending on your requirement whether you want an interactive one or you just want a mouse click you can choose any slide from this and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university i have created a whatsapp group you can join it by clicking on this particular link it is also provided in the video description section and if you like to donate to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the basic shapes select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid at the bottom of the slide you can see here and then you can see the small orange point just drag it inside and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size so i'm just going to add a little bit more like this and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some uh, gray color and later on we can give a gradient fill to it then i'm going to insert one rectangle draw the rectangle from this corner you can see here until here you can make it till top not a problem and again shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some light color and then i'm going to add two more rectangles here so go to insert shape select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some gray color and send this to back you can see here again select this and this also bring it to the right side and send this to back now you can take this shape and put it to the top press ctrl d to duplicate it and go to rotate i can say flip vertical and put it at the top something like this so you can see here we have made a design like this and then i'm going to add five options so if you want you can just select this one go to format shape select the gradient fill by default there are four stops i'm going to delete this two stops so one stop i'm going to make it some light color and the back side i'm going to make it somewhat dark color so it looks like this so here also i can just select simply go to home format painter and put it here and again here also you can do the same thing i can select this and only change the direction maybe from something like this you can see here and copy this here and this also I can just change it like this. So this is the gradient fill I have done. Now it's time to add the five options. Go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much size and this much uh, width. You can see here, again, depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the width and the height. Maybe I can keep this much shape outline, make it no outline and press control D to duplicate let me just change the color to white i'm going to add on top of this and reduce the size so this is the area which i'm going to hide it the white one and then i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to give the same color you can see here and then put it exactly at the top and if you want increase the size maybe you can keep it this much and later on uh, this will animate and it will go top also let me just make it this much size now i'm going to select this i'm going to give a gradient fill for this i'm going to use two colors let me just make it uh this one first the dark gray color i'm going to sorry the teal color dark teal color and here the lighter color 
I'm going to select somewhat lighter color like this you can see here and for this I'm going to choose the lighter teal color something and if you want to make an arrowhead or a rounded corner depending on your requirement what exactly you need to do it and for this I'm going to keep it white only but I'm going to give some shadow effect you can see here whichever shadow effect maybe like this or maybe some other shadow effect you can give so now here in this place I'm going to add the icons if you don't have the icons you can add the text also not a problem so let me just add the icons go to insert icons and any good icon as per your requirement you can choose click on insert hold the shift key reduce the size and put it in the center or it is touching here not a problem so and then graphic fill I'm going to choose the same color like this then let's add the text here so go to insert text I'm going to say this is step one center align make it white font select some good font of your choice I'm going to select century gothic make it bold increase the size so this is the step one and this two I'm going to select and group it press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one object you can see here and then below you can add some title and detailed text so your you can add your title again white font choose some good font here if you want make it bold center align and then below you can add detail text here again white font right mouse or center align reduce the font size so depending on your font uh, the requirement you can add the font size so then what I'm going to do I'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select the text and the title and press ctrl G to group it so you can see here like this I'm going to group it and if you want you can group these two also but it's not required but if you want you can do it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to name this one as uh, the top part and the bottom part for that let me just close this one under home tab go to select and selection pane you can see here this one I'm going to say a uh, bottom part one or option one whatever I can say and this is top part option one so you can do like this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this select this and bring it down just cover this one so there should not be any gap looking here so let me just again further increase the size maybe the size which I've selected is not perfect so I just need to make sure that the size is perfectly selected so let me just zoom in a little bit so there's some mistake I did here you can see here the size or the alignment is not proper so I think this is the the right alignment or a little bit you can see it's visible here you can just reduce it also so you have to just make sure that the size is perfectly matching uh, with the the bottom yeah now this is perfect so once this is done what I'm going to do I'm going to select the animation so let me just close this go to the animations enable the animation and for this select here and click on add animation go to more motion part you can see here and I'm going to select the up animation so you can see here it is up it is going up like this you can see here click ok so how much up you need you can adjust it I want to reduce a little bit so select this one you can see the red dot hold the shift key and bring it somewhat down maybe this much size and then double click this increase the bounce end smooth start smooth end should be uh, the zero timing you can make it fast okay and click okay so if I play when I click it goes like this but what's happening here it is going above this one so it should not happen that one so I can just reduce it like this let me just bring it somewhat down sorry I'll bring it somewhat down 
till here let me just play now so still it's going up or in that case what i need to do is i have to just increase this size you can see here i can increase this size and then if i play it goes perfectly all right so you can see here it goes like this so if you want to increase the size of this also not a problem you can simply increase it and let me just play now so it goes like this so whichever way you feel better you can just change it so now what i'm going to do so this is happening on a mouse click but it should happen when i click on this only or if i want to add a button here and click then only it should work so that is called the interactive one so how to do that one so you can see here if you remember let me just go to the home tab select selection pane this area is called the bottom part one and this area is called the the top part one so we have added the animation on the top part but when i click on the bottom part only then only the animation happens so in that case i'm just going to double click this we can see here timings go to triggers start effect on click off scroll down and i'm going to select the bottom part option one click ok so if i do the slideshow you can see here when i'm bringing my mouse here you can see it turns to a like this you can see here the hand arrow and when i click it goes up like that so remember let me just show you again if you see here i just did double click you have to go to timings start effect on bottom part one click ok right so that's how it works so if i do it again when i click then only it happens like this so this is called the interactive one so once you have done this one it's very easy for me to replicate this so i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate it and then you can add so this is you can see here now this is the option bottom part option two i'm just renaming it so that it will not create any confusion later on you can see here then again i can just go and make this as op step two then again i'm selecting this press ctrl d add it here so this would be let me just align it properly so this would be step three and later on we can change the color so this is the bottom part option three and this is the top part option three so like this you can do it the rest of the options so you can see here this also uh, by default the animations also got changed so let me just play when i click this will open if i click here this will open if i click here then this will open something like this so again depending on your requirement you can change it now if you see here the arrows are sorry the icons are same but how do I change the, the, the icons here? So in that case, what we need to do is I can select this one and I can just, you can see here, I can just hide this one for a meantime. Again, I can select this, hide this, then I'm going to select this, go to format. Can you see a graphic, change graphic from icons? And I'm going to choose some different icon here and click insert. The color need to be changed according to the color what we have selected here. And again, this also, I can select the same thing and give some different icon here like this. So now let me just bring this back. You can see here now for me, I can select this. Close, I'll close all these things. I'll right mouse click, go to format shape. And I'm going to give some different color combination, maybe the dark orange with some lighter orange. You can see here. And here also I'm going to select the light orange color. So here I'm going to select maybe blue, dark blue. You can see here uh, with a light blue combination, maybe this you can see here. And again here, I'm going to select the light blue color, something like this. So if I see here, if I play, when I click step one comes, step two, and step three and likewise you hide this one and then you can just change the icon according to this color combination